Frustrating as it may be, it is not uncommon for someone to ask me, Bro, when you're working in Tahiti, do you spend all your free time sipping cocktails at the Hilton? Ain't nobody got grant money for that. Truth be told, one of my favorite non-science activities to do in French Polynesia has been outrigger canoeing. These little boats are incredible. Not only do they allow ancient Tahitians to cross vast areas of ocean in terrible weather and under terrible sea conditions, but they fly through the water. So my buddies Chris, Matt, and I befriended some Tahitians in my first austral winter living on the island of Morea. And we would paddle with these guys at the end of the workday. This was kind of therapeutic for me because all of the issues with boat engine failures <laughs> and getting stuck out at sea are suddenly removed. There's no engine issues at all. You are the engine. Not only that, but it's great exercise and when you're paddling over super shallow reef, you get to see all kinds of critters that would otherwise be hiding from loud boat engines. Sea turtles, sharks, eels, all kinds of reef fish. So we start to fall in love with this. The problem is we weren't very good. It is a pretty steep learning curve because the art of outrigger canoeing is all about timing. This happens when the paddler in the back that's steering grunts at you. <laughs> at which point you know that you need to switch hands at the next paddle. So we went from bad to confident pretty quickly. And we're thinking, paddling? This is, man, we got this. On occasion, we would even come across other outrigger teams that weren't some weird American-Tahitian hybrid, but were all Tahitian. We would do these kind of little fake races with them. Well, we thought we were racing. It's unclear if they thought we were racing. Nonetheless, we, we would never really get too destroyed by them. So the confidence is building and building until one day, one of our Tahitian paddling partners approaches us about a formal race. Now, this isn't just any race. This is the race for the Hava Festival which is an enormous festival in French Polynesia, which essentially celebrates all things Tahitian. And what lies at the heart of Tahitian culture? The outrigger canoe. So the race is going to be televised and in front of a massive live audience. All that inflated ego and confidence melts away pretty quickly. Is it too late for me to use my job as an excuse to back out? Sorry guys, I gotta go collect data. So I was definitely anxious, but I didn't wanna let my teammates down, so it didn't take much time before we all committed, yes, we're gonna do this. And then we go through this sort of interesting transition period. We have a couple weeks to prepare, we start training more. The anxiety and anguish turns into excitement and anticipation. We figure, yeah, you know, we're some weird hybrid team and we may fail miserably, but at least we're gonna give it a go. So the days leading up to the event, it starts getting more and more official. We're getting our Tahitian garb, our pareos, we're gonna wear fern crowns during the race, as will all the other competitors. So it starts to become really real that we're gonna do this. But then the day before the race, we have a meeting with our team. We discover some bad news from one of our Tahitian team leaders. The government has decided at the last moment to impose a sizable fee on all outrigger teams. Because of this, we're told that we're going to boycott the race to protest the government. Bummer. Here we are having successfully gone through the grieving process for the last several weeks, going from denial about the race to actually fully accepting it and then being excited about it. And suddenly it's completely taken away. However, our grief did not last very long because ultimately the next thing that happened was very surprising and kind of crazy. We did end up on center stage at the Hava Festival but we weren't on an outrigger canoe. Well, hello there, good looking. First, I have to recommend that you watch the next video because it's a bit of a doozy. Also, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos with your friends. With your help, I can truly get the secret about the awesome behind the scenes world of science out to the masses. Thank you for your support.